In this video, let's tackle some Oscar Peterson jazz piano sheet music. And I'm just kind of laughing because it's so difficult, this piece, and it's really for advanced players, but I think it's interesting as an intermediate player, maybe just to stick around and hear what's going on because it's a blistering pace at 170 beats per minute, but he's got all these 16th note runs happening in the head. The tune is called Blues for Martha, and it's something that he recorded a while ago. And it's definitely challenging. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is go through it section by section. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna play the entire piece that I've pre-recorded and actually did some, you know, dubbing and things like that because it's really, really difficult to just play it straight through. Oscar is definitely from another world and when he writes things like this, it's just worth doing because you want to tackle some of the more intricate things in music and it's definitely challenging and that's what I love about it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the introduction. There's an intro and then there's two head sections and then there's a solo section. So we're going to do this in chunks. In this video, let's tackle as much of the intro as we can. We'll probably get through it and then maybe a little bit of the head section. All right, let me play the beginning part which is this introduction. Now, just pay attention to the 60th note runs because they're kind of insane. All right, so there's the introduction. There's a couple of interesting things about it that I really like. The first is these really big chords that are essentially shots. Let's take a look at those chords because I think they're definitely interesting. So first one, D7, sharp nine, flat 13. In the left hand, he's playing force here, F sharp, C and F. Which is a great voicing. I use that voicing all the time myself. I use it in lots of things because it's definitely a good hollow sound, very dissonant and very cool. And then in the right hand, he's got the thir flat 13 on top, which is the B flat. So, so put those two together. And then this really big, like five finger voicing in the right hand, which is basically a D flat six chord in the right, and then in the left hand, he's got a G7. Well, G7 is the tritone substitution. So he's got the tritone here, the bottom, and then he's got a sharp nine here at the top of that voicing. So first voicing, second voicing, just really nice chords. Really hard to play, actually. And then comes this run. <laughs> basically superhuman. I'm gonna analyze it because I think it's important from a stylistic standpoint to know what he's actually doing. So the first thing is he's putting in a G minor seven chord. So G, B flat, D, and F. So just together it's like this. Simple, right? But then it automatically switches to this over and under pattern. So this is over, over, under, destination. So we're heading to the E flat. Which is pretty typical in jazz. Okay. Then what he's doing is he's playing a E flat triad. So this is E flat. And then he's got a passing note, which is C sharp, and then a B flat triad with a sixth. This is the sixth here, the G. So e, e, e flat. He does things like that a lot. So from the beginning of the line. And then he's just got a scale. So he's going down essentially the C minor scale. Also F7. And the destination note here 
is the D of this D7 chord, and these are both under, under, so passing notes. So the whole line is slowly. Now finger-wise, it's more difficult in the left hand than the right hand. So I would say, hmm. Gotta switch to your first finger here. So this is first finger and then first finger here. And then maybe two, four, three. Could also could put your finger underneath here like I do. This is, could be one and then three and then one. Yeah, it's probably better like that. And then the big chords again, just repeat it. And then he's got new chords for the C7 sharp 11 sharp nine. In the right hand, this looks like a D. So really thick chord. Yeah, so B flat, E flat, F sharp, G up against the F sharp, and then a B flat on top. And this voicing in the left hand is the same one that we used for the D7 chord. It's just on C7. So go down a whole tone. So. And then this lovely F plus seven chord. So you got a sharp five, which is the D flat here. It's repeating in the left hand what he does in the right hand. And then he moves on from there. And then the last shots are like this. So first D7 chord, which is really B flat. B flat major triad, surrounded by octaves. And the left hand voicing, we've had that before. And then G13, so two fourth chords. These are force in the left hand, force in the right hand. I'm talking about intervals, right? Force, so. The tritone and the 13th, left hand, and then the right hand, the ninth, the fifth, and the root. All fours. And then C7 sharp nine. Uh, same voicing in the left hand that we've had before, but the right hand is basically an E flat triad. And then we've had that F7 or F plus seven chord before. And then you've got to run this gliss all the way from the F way up here. And basically take your thumb and turn it upside down and use your nail. And you're gonna cut, gotta catch the bottom notes. And in the next video, we'll start to tackle these block chords here. And I'm telling you, that's probably the most difficult thing of the entire piece. So I'm gonna post a link to the sheet music up here in the corner. You can go and download that. And right now I'm gonna play it for you. So it's basically the introduction, the head, and then a couple of choruses of solo. We're even gonna talk about soloing in the next tutorial or the next tutorials. I'm not sure if it's the next one or the one after that and just basically learn some Oscar Peterson licks, which is really fun to do. Okay, let me play the tune for you, get you excited about it, and go download the sheet music and have some fun with it. All right, let me play it.
Okay, there you go. Blues for Martha, 170 beats per minute. Killer, right? Just totally fun to play. I love tearing apart Oscar stuff because it really is groundbreaking music. All right, like I said before, go download the sheet music. I'll also post a link to the sheet music below so you can check that out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, I'd love that. If you're a jazz player and you're looking for help getting more professional, then this is the place to be jazz mental here on YouTube. So if you wanna do that, subscribe and hit the little bell when you do because you'll be notified of all the upcoming videos that we're making. All right, thanks so much for your time. We'll see you in the next Oscar Peterson tutorial.